fun. That was crazy. Yeah, you gonna have to put that I'm gonna just throw, I'm gonna just throw everything back on cat, nigga. Because <laughs> <laughs> it always happens. Listen, so we're here with Ken off the credit. I know. Why? Here, here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a social media guru because I just press play and don't overthink it. Post. That being said, I feel like I should have to look like Raggedy Ann all over the internet. Who says That's you good Raggedy though, Ann? When you go outside and you look, when they see these edges, they will be like, "That is a what real person. <laughs> <laughs> that is a real person. She is going through it today." But you know what she That's did funny. do? She worked out. She did legs. She improved her life. We was in a hundred and what? Two or five degree weather, literally. I think it was 105 on my skirt if I checked. Yeah, we got busy today. Yeah, and everything we do, we start outside, so I think they be looking at us crazy when we come in sweating already. Like, where these, where these niggas been? Yo, these niggas, swear to God, I'm, I'm one of the niggas on the Cowboys billboard. Oh, look at the boy. Look at him. <laughs> but, at the, but look, 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 look. So, so for Ron and my guy, Bruce Leroy, you know, I know your name, bro. <laughs> Blue. Uh, sorry. So, so, He's inside. I've so, heard it a million times. I'm listen, sure. they had some credit <laughs> questions, though, right? Yeah. How you, Ma, you played in the league. You've been there. You've done that. <laughs> you had it. You ain't lost it. And you still got it, a.k.a. the information to be clear. <laughs> you see that right there? And he's got his son. That don't happen a lot of times in a black coach people. I'm joking, get up and take his well, son. At any who, what are some things that you guys are going to be able to do to help both of these young men with their credit? And mind you, I don't even know they credit business, but it's very common. And you guys feel free to chime in whenever. Because, look, I need to be very clear and tell you this. The average nigga doesn't know a thing about credit. I know I didn't. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I got a job for six months. I wanted to get an apartment. I thought that's all you needed. I had no credit. My aunt had this co-sign for me to get an apartment, and then she turned around and paid the first six months because um, I still didn't know what was going on. That's the truth. <laughs> and then we got evicted, and I still didn't know what was going on. <laughs> That's the truth. I was living with a dude named Curtis King. Fuck that nigga if he ever sees this. <laughs> and I still didn't know what was going on. <laughs> this nigga's mama was a warden at a prison. I'm like, yo, how she can't come up with the money? I've been paying my rent the whole time, but I was at this chick's house, I'll be honest with you. And uh, But the rent was paid. My aunt paid it. I come back, I see a notice on the door. I'm like, yo, we need to put it in our two weeks because we did a month to month thing. Just so it is. They were like, oh, you guys about to get evicted. He ain't paid and such and such. So it was like $1,200. And I had my half. I was like, yo, what if I give you half right now? They're like, too bad. Both y'all names on the lease. His mama could, wasn't going to come up with the money. And he didn't have it. So not only at, what, 18, 19, I got an eviction. I turned around and had no clue what the hell credit was and just let it go. So when you're talking to guys like him mm -hmm. who have the bag. Mm -hmm. Guys like him who go get a bag and have the bag as well. Average athlete in their status probably has access to two to four million dollars at a time on average. Mm -hmm. How do you help them really dial in credit? And even more importantly, I know they both try to figure out, hey, where's the best place to put our money? Mm -hmm. For one, don't give it to no Negroes that you know. <laughs> Any nigga tell you he got a business plan, let it go. He got an idea, you gonna get some money back? No, 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 unless he has 10 years, mind you, 10 years of history and building a business, there's nothing for you to talk about. You know how many people have called me with opportunities? Hey, Trevor, I know, I know you know that it's like, bro, let me hear it. Not gonna work. They, ne they never hear you out, like they're too smart for that. Why people don't give money away? They give it away when they're gonna know they're gonna get it back though. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, when they give it, that's when they give it away, when they, get, when they believe they're gonna get it back. So how would you guys, based on consistent conversations with people in this world per se, it's a different world. NBA money is a different type of money. Mm -hmm. That's the gist of it. Where do you start? How do you really help them? I also credit. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's such a loaded question. Cause, I mean, offer is offer is credit repair, right? But at the end of the day, I mean, that's that's but just not. one tiny step. It's not. It's not. Right. It's not. You, you're you're, and I'm trying to make sure you said you credit education, you credit solutions, right. you credit repair. You, right. You're budgeting, yeah. which I think is even more important. And then just like we told him last night, or the other day, he said, I'm going to invest in these box cars. You're like, y'all both was like, no. <laughs> just no. Yeah. <laughs> it's the foundation of like, yeah. all right, so when did you find out like credit was like a thing or it was important? No, I just got a credit card last year. Last year. Yeah, right? How old are you if you don't mind me asking? I'm 24. So 24, 24 right? years old, first credit card. First credit card. How many people make bad choices at 24 with a first credit card? Niggas is making bad choices mm -hmm. at 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? 99%. Whenever they able to get them. <laughs> what about you? When, you? when you first like, was like your credit as a thing? I had uh, two 
probably, I, I, I think like maybe like my first year in the league, I had, got like two $2,000 ones. Uh -huh. Then I got a big credit line one. But you got them, but you yeah, really I didn't know that. I was like, what the fuck is this? What about you, Ab? What when, was that? Like, when did you, when was credit introduced to you or where like, when you started oh, college? Like, college? Uh, I opened a card, uh, I opened a bank account with Chase and they gave me like a $20 uh, credit line. Mm -hmm. And I used to like literally collect um, the rent money for my roommates. Yeah. I'll pay for it and then I'll take the cash. So that was on a different shit. I just. <laughs> I didn't know you can't you can't get nothing that you really want without a line of credit. Oh, you don't got no them people don't give a so, damn how so, much cash you got. There you go. So even when you have two to four million dollars, they still checking your credit. Yeah. There you go. So yeah. that that go back to this. And mind you, I've learned from both of both of these people here because you go, no matter how much you think you got, you ain't got none if you ain't got no credit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So then Especially you, in this economy. So then where do you begin with walking them through a process of just educating them on utilizing credit and even leveraging the money? I think the first step with anybody, whether you got MBA money or whether you got nine to five money, you know what I mean? I think the first step is understanding that credit is important and that your cash is only going to take you so far. So putting a priority on, because at the end of the day, credit is what credit is, right? But what credit represents is responsibility and accountability. And so that's what these lenders look for. You want to go buy a nice house. You want to go buy a nice car. Whatever the case is, that's going to be the first thing that they look at. Again, especially in an economy that's this bad right now, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how much you make. They want to see that you pay your bills, yep. period. Put a focus on it. Make it a priority. Keep it good because it's a heck of a lot easier to build from either an empty platform or a decent platform than it is to come back and bounce back from credit that you've messed up. So guys, one of my, my goals for for Offer Credit, this actually gonna go on our page too, is uh, I told Kat, you know, she's very valuable. And I think, again, Jamal, from a supportive standpoint even, and mind you, he knows what she knows. He knows how to make the moves. She communicates it effectively. So you say, hey, there's an opportunity here because there's not a lot of women, especially black women, uh, who can be clear about what people need mm -hmm. and then give them the, the power instruction, the education, the information, make them feel empowered to go out and make better choices. Having money doesn't make you. Losing money will break you. Mm -hmm. Like, if you get to zero, like, I remember a nigga called me from the hood, he's like, true. I'm in a personal recession, nigga, I'm gonna rob somebody. <laughs> 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 but he called me, because I always said, before you do something dumb, nigga, hit my line, nigga. He said, nigga, I'm at that place, nigga. I said, listen. He said, let me see you go. <laughs> now, rock bottom will shape you, man. It, it, you know it, it, it will shape you, shape you. How many people even come back from rock bottom? Now? Not a lot, man. You got to be built for it. Um, <laughs> and uh, what you surrounded with, what like the the information, the energy you taking is all crucial for you to be able to bounce back. You know what I'm saying? So, so let me ask you this: from 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 the business side of of what you guys do, mm -hmm. you asked our guy here some questions. What are some things that you learned that you know you could help him with? And on his journey to just making sure he's good for the next 20 years. I mean, so to be honest, man, they in a, both of them. Um, they like, he's 23, I say 24. Yeah. Man, they, 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 they in it. So it's like, they gonna have no, they gonna get hit with so much shit. It's gonna be so much opportunity, mask and bullshit. It's just gonna be good opportunity. And they just have to be at a point to where they can be able to, be able to identify by just being able to ricochet questions. But their foundation is understanding how they are leverageable and they leverage themselves by credit and then turn themselves. All these opportunities they've seen, they gotta also know that y'all too are walking hedge funds. You know what I'm saying? Y'all understand? Y'all understand that? Yeah, I'm being able to negotiate what's shit and what's not shit for shit. And, and how many people, what's the best shit you ever heard? Mm. Hey, hey for all, man, give me some money, nigga. I got this. <laughs> Not the box trucks, bro. Not nah, nah, I'm not even gonna talk about that. That was just like an idea. What a dude hit me on. Let's open up a snowball stand. <laughs> the ice ball back stand? Yeah, like we call it snowball wine for real. But I guess y'all call it snow cone out here? Yeah. yeah. It's over one up in New Orleans. I'm like, bro, it's 30 of them already. It's <laughs> gonna separate us. Yeah. That's I'm a like, good question. Oh, uh, clothing line. Like, I hit, like, 
I'm all for people being creative, but like clothing line is just so hard to sell the clothing right now for like. You know what's crazy, bro? It's just a dude, there's a dude on TikTok named Wisdom. You ever seen it? No. Cold, bro. Cold. Same thing with uh, even if you look at the Kwame guy who that does that stuff, you know? Think about what he did. He built a brand without saying nothing like this. And he been in all kinds of fashion shows. Niggas from Senegal get it, bro. Yeah. Uh, there we go. We got a Senegalian in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Senegalian. That boy didn't say a word. He was just like. That's it. Like, this is dumb. This is like, that's really. And what about you? Right now, he worked like millions. Like, that's e exact, bro. Literally, what's the craziest thing somebody tried to get you to give money for? Honestly, I ain't even pay attention, so I wouldn't. Good, good, good. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not like, hearing. Keep, you. keep going like that, because there's gonna be a lot of shit out there, bro. I see. And what would you tell them if they had to make a safe investment? And safe just means that they don't go broke. Real estate, real estate. So it depends, because it's, it's a lot of vultures out there that try to get you into real estate development projects and shit like that, where like you really can't tell what's going on, but. As far as the real estate, as far as the duplexes where I like how she broke everything down to you, a lot of people can't do that. So I will go with... Income properties? Yes. Yeah, at the end of the day, income properties are always going to be safe. If you can go with a reputable company, somebody that's going to invest your money, like there's another thing, these guys off the street that say, hey, I can go get you this, I can do that, I'll invest this here. You really got to do your research, but if you can go to a reputable company, a large firm, you know what I mean? Investing, obviously it's based on your on your risk tolerance, really. Mm -hmm. um, life insurance is a great place to actually invest your money in a safe oh, yeah. spot. This is this is this might top that pina colada. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, and then yeah, income properties, that's something you really can't lose with. Even in a market like this, where property taxes are at an all-time high, interest rates are at an all-time high, you can still win, and you've still got somebody else paying off an asset for you in your name. So you can't lose when it comes to that realm. There you go. And now, that's the last question I'm gonna ask you guys before we close this up, because we had that. We had about 12 minutes, which is good. Uh, from a money standpoint, what did money do for you guys? And I don't know where you guys come from. I come from broke, fire broke, as Kanye said, we ain't got it. And so I'm be very, I, I'm candid, man. My mom made four dollars with three kids and five fifteen at another job, bro. That's the truth. And my dad did seven years in a level five prison, Cameron, Missouri, um, and right across the street was Crossroads, where niggas got twenty to twenty five. So the truth is, when they say, "Hey, why are you, why are you believing yourself so much?" There's no home for me to go to, bro. Literally, I have nowhere to go. I'm either gone or I'm dead. It's like that. I'm. A, it's either gonna work. I'm gonna walk off a bridge. So, money at times, if we don't understand it, it shapes us, it changes things, it causes confusion, um, it confuses the people around us, because they're like, yo, we never had nothing, but you should do something for the hood. You'll be like, the hood gonna always be the hood, nigga, good luck. <laughs> That's how I respond. But, coming into money, I don't know if you came from money or what you guys came from, I didn't come from nothing, and I've not been broke in a long time. But I still, like, I, t I even told my mom this. True story, I said, you need something, you gotta tell me six months ahead of time. I project six months of funds so I know where my money goes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, don't ask me for nothing last minute. I'm not doing that nigga shit. <laughs> and hey, man, I'm about to lose a house. You were just going to lose a house a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying? <laughs> hey, you, that didn't just happen, nigga. <laughs> don't tell me within six months. Hey. Hey, but, but if y'all had to, again, there's going to be some upcoming NBA players <laughs> and people that um, they need to hear more conversations like this. What would you tell them? What did money do for you? What's the worst thing ever, that it's ever done to you? You got more money to spend now. You just going to give it right back. Huh? Nine times out of I'd probably say the good thing about having money is you can do what you want. But then it's also a bad thing because then you just go get to buying shit like, damn. You look back at it. It's for know? paying bills, that's all it is. I wouldn't I would <laughs> spend money on this. I could like, I bought some clothes one time in the store. Spent some bread. Look back and like, man, do I really need that shit? Mm -hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> you know, that's, you got the, that's what you call fucking money. When you I'll, tell, I'll say this, right? I don't wanna like say exactly what it is, but you catch on. So in the process, we trying to help you, right? 
to, you know how much you're trying to spend on it, and I know how much you want it, but people that care, like, yo, I don't think that's the best decision. You know what I'm saying? How about we circle back, let's figure out what we could do to make sure you get the best, you know, you could get the best situation out of that. You know that's why I asked earlier. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already here. that's what you need. Yeah, that's, move what, smart. that's what I surround myself by. You know what Can't I mean? move fast. She said, I want to get it down like that. I'm going to just sit you on the back and that bitch will still be that situation. How much, like, so exactly, so how much people would have been like, bro? Fuck it, let's go ahead and pull the trick on this. We're living a couple of hundred years. We're riding clean, you know what I'm saying? Five, but then, you know, think about it, doing that shit. I'm back in. And I, I was in a situation like that, not too, you know, like, yeah, I, I, was shit, I was like, I just feel like we see too many times where athletes you see the little 30 for 30s and all this other shit. Like, oh. at the end of the day, you gotta, you gotta think of bro. every contract as if it's your last contract. Cause did you, you, but did, know. did you see the NBA number though? You saw the NBA number, it was like 80% of you guys go broke after three years. How you get $180 million and ain't got no money at the well, end? Niggas gotta make a three or four year mark so they can be able to get that pension bread. So right. it's like, nigga, it's a. I mean, yeah, three years you get that pension bread. Motherfucking gamble, <laughs> nigga. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> you rolling, but you already on year three, so you good. I'm about to be here. <laughs> yeah, I'm That's good, baby. <laughs> I'm good, baby. <laughs> I'm not good yet. I'm not good. I I'm good. Good. That's, it. That's a good I'm mentality good. to have good. too. At the end of the day, you gotta think of every contract as if it's your last contract. So spend the money on things that will set you up for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? And then if you get re-signed again and re-signed again, great. Now go have your fun. You know what I mean? But your foundation but fun is, is already still, in place. Wouldn't you encourage them to be mindful of, of the fun as well? Because in the grand scheme of things, yeah, we've been young. I didn't have the power to be dumb because I was too broke. <laughs> and I didn't come from nothing, so you're like, I never could be dumb. I had to think about every, even now, right? I don't know how I think. I have to think about everything, like, it's, it is my last. Like, yo, we make this decision, where we end up from here? Yeah. Like, where do we go? Where do we go next? There's nowhere to go, which means there's nowhere to grow. And my thing is, even in this moment right here, where, again, yeah, it started this morning. <laughs> you know, and, and Maul's prepping me for the, the right now. He's prepping me for right now. <laughs> that preparatory work. This is an opportunity to capture an honest, this, an exchange of information that hopefully connects to somebody who's thinking about doing things. Let me make sure I sum this up if you guys have watched this whole episode. Jamal and Kat do credit repair. Part of their credit repair business is credit solutions. What do you need to know about credit? Well, guess what? They provide credit education. And part of the educating part is making sure that you understand how to budget, which means this. How much is a dollar really worth? In New York, 58, if not 50% of it goes right back to the state. And I saw 50 complaining, because when 50 was complaining, I said, yo, 50, you moving to Houston? He was like, yeah. I don't feel like New York um, supported. Basically, during COVID, uh, he felt like he got fucked over. Mm -hmm. So he said, and then on top of that, it raised the tax bar. So now, and then I saw a news anchor. He said, that's potholes, is this? He said, I'm paying 70% of this. So I got 70 cents on my dollar. And he broke it down. I saved it too. Point is this. If you're black, you really don't know what the dollar's worth. Because people have even told you, you struggle for too long, you can't spend this, and you get money, you go spend everything. And you're right back to being real, a real nigga. Broke. <laughs> if I gotta be honest, man. So, what I love about these two individuals, again, we're all connected, even Ab pulling up like you saw, is because we care about people and actually making sure that they're better. You can't convince me that, hey, I'll, pay, I'll buy a, a dog for you for 50000 I'm like, that's not what the dog costs. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at any who, I love good people. I love good times. I love good energy. I love education. Literally. Anything you guys want to leave them with? Take care of your dog. This is all the credit. Take care of your credit. Protect yourself. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize setting yourself up for the future. A lot of people live as if it's their last day. I totally agree with that. But also, I'm going to live as if it's my last day. Once I also got my future set up, just in case it's not. There you go, people. Oh.